This game is starting to really heat up now. We're at turn 350 and uh, three big things I've noticed so far kind of overviewing the map that we're gonna go over right here. So here we go, here's the first thing. I talked about this in the last video. I said this would be huge if it happens and it happened. France is at war with Rome. Now it looks like Trajan declared war on Catherine herself because it, because we're not seeing, I don't think that, it doesn't look like she was prepared for it, first of all. Obviously she's defending her cities really well with all this mechanized infantry. She's got like tanks and all these big old things. Um, but yeah, f R Rome is not, you know, there's nothing back here. I don't know if Catherine is going to push forward though. I really hope she does. It'd be interesting to see. Uh, but we don't know if she's going to push forward with these with this army. That's certainly enough to take at least one or two Roman cities away. Uh, Scythia has made peace with Arabia. Apparently those two were... Well, that was the second thing I was going to talk about. But uh, I guess not anymore. Scythia has, uh, was defending against a naval invasion. Saladin got the balls to, to send over a naval invasion. And it was technically working. I mean, we see a, a, a few pillaged cities here and there. Um, this city was previously under siege, not anymore. Um, I don't know why they pieced out. If they pieced out for a city, I don't think they did. Uh, Scythia continuing to settle south of the Caucasus Mountains. This one south uh, of the Caspian Sea. And actually, she's sending over another settler. Uh, nonetheless, I mean, also at the same time, Scythia was going to defend. She wasn't going to lose this city. I mean, clearly, if you look at her military, she had a ton, a ton of units, but uh, still pretty interesting to see Saladin try that. Uh, I think Greece might be at war with Arabia. They've been at war for a long, long time. Where did you get all these alliances from, Greece? So, uh, so Pericles finally allied to Frederick. That, that's pretty big. Yeah, the, the Cleopatra alliance isn't that big of a deal. And to Norway. Greece has declared war on Arabia. That's what I figured. So, uh, there's the, uh... Pericles was having a, his own naval invasion in the Black Sea himself, which is interesting. And all of these Arabian troops are still in the uh, the northern part, just south of Scythian territory. So you kind of caught him a little bit. We'll see what happens. Um, there was also conflict taking place right here, but clearly uh, they both were same on technology level. So, I mean, literally nothing happened. Clearly there'd be more pillaging here if they even got close to the city, uh, which they obviously did not. I mean, Gilgi is just lucky to be alive. Oh, he did apparently have to peace out with Germany. I'm sorry, with Greece for a city. Sipar, 24 population. Again, we were talking about how great uh, they were in. What, this is called, I think someone mentioned it to me, the Fertile Crescent or something like that, right? Uh, in between the, the Mediterranean and the Tigris rivers. That's why these cities had so much population, but bam, you just lost one to Greece. So now we can definitely say Samaria is probably out of the running for the most part. Uh, anything else that's happening? No, but... Uh, you know, Egypt's looking a little bit better, even though they have pretty poor units in terms of technology. Ooh, lots of, uh, lots of, we're, we're actually seeing a navy being built, being built for the first time, which is nice. It's a nice little change up here, I think. Um, we'll see if anything comes out of this. I mean, Greece has a ton of military units, and this is the first time, maybe not the first time, but it seems like Greece and Rome have been at peace for a while. Trajan is really, really lucky that, uh, that Greece isn't focusing on on Rome because Rome is Rome just got obliterated by France and France is defending themselves just by them defending for the most part I don't know they're trying to go through here Spain is war at war with Greece oh my gosh so much to talk about that wasn't even the third thing that I was gonna say I said one was France versus Rome uh, two was Arabia versus uh, Scythia this is the other one this is this is three to me bam I, I I predicted this and Rome did in fact do it Gades was settled uh, I knew they were gonna do that I knew it that's just that's just Rome man that's Rome 101 if he if you know if someone else doesn't want the land Trajan will just pop up and be like oh I'll take that and then he did so he did settle the uh, Strait of Gibraltar and I think he might even get access to this tile controlling the pass of who kind of moves through uh, right now, it, it, I'm viewing as everyone has open borders with everyone. That's be I don't know. Gorgo's dead, so that's what we see. All the dash lines and stuff like that. Um, Spain's been rebuilding. They certainly have a huge trade army, basically. They seem to be more like a mercantile uh, city-state. Again, no lenses work, so I can't tell uh, exactly who uh, what governments were chosen. That would be wonderful to hopefully get an update to this mod so that I can see the lenses and things like that. And I'm not really looking at religion either. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't really have access to that data. Hopefully these mods continue to get better and better so that I can, I can look at more data, which is part of the, you know, which is most of the fun to me. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we've got, you know, Germany holding on to these cities, not going any further forward. But here's the thing. Norway still trying hard, baby. 
Uh, Harald's still going out there. Oh, okay, here we go. Bam, there's a German settler. Yeah, Norway's been doing some real late-game colonization towards uh, the Baltic Sea and just uh, just east of the Baltic Sea, which I find interesting. Poland still has not built a military. Poland is done. Poland, this, is, this was the exact same thing that happened in the last video, the last series. They're done. Poland is done. Uh, and uh, if someone, you know, finally smartens up, like Russia, holy crap, Russia. Wow. Yeah, if someone finally, uh, you know, grows a brain and goes after Poland, which maybe it will be, Peter. Come on, Peter. Just do it. You're war Germany. Interesting. So I gotta, I've got. i been meaning to check on that. Who is... Whoa! Okay, so Russia, we did see that in the last video. They were going up and around northern Poland, just north of Riga, moving through the Baltic Sea and then landing here after uh, Danzig. And uh, are you also at war with everybody? I wonder if Russia's also at war with Vicky, Rome, and... In Greece, that's a pretty huge list. Uh, so Spain is doing the same thing. I, I we, we did notice that Spain is doing a naval invasion on their own. We don't know how Spain feels towards Felipe, or Spain feels towards Norway. I should say. Uh, there's not an alliance. They've denounced each other. So this make it a lot easier if you could land in uh, in modern day Denmark and attack south. But I I don't think that will be the case. Oh my gosh. Norway's been sitting with all these troops for a while. Does England still have those troops here? No. England had troops here for a while, but they didn't do anything with it. Hold on. So Norway's at war with somebody. Are you launching that against anybody? Gilgi. No. Gilgi is... You don't need to be attacking Gilgi. Gilgi has his hands full as it is. Look at the, look at the balls on Rome. Rome just continuing to send forces in there just to get slaughtered right here. These tanks. So many like tanks and mechanized infantry. All these like big, the big mechs. Basically, I want to call them mechs, kind of. They're not mechs, right? I don't know. I don't think I can classify them as that. Oh, so are you gonna are you gonna cut them off, Felipe? I don't think he will. Felipe is gonna continue to settle Africa. Obviously, I haven't really made a mention of this, but yeah, I mean, uh, Spain has grabbed even more of this territory. I mean, they're really trying to jam those cities in now. They'll probably settle here for the oil at some point. Oh, England did. Oh, look at that, England. Oh, whoops, this. What's this? Lock city name. Hmm. That's a that's a traditional historic name for this region i don't know if anyone else knew about the lock city name people but uh but they're a great people smoked a lot of crack it was it was good times uh rome never did anything else with uh wait a second didn't rome set a settler we did see a settler at some point rome i don't know if rome lost it or if they i have no idea okay let's focus on the uh the greek arabian war we'll see what happens there, there, there's obviously quite a bit of combat. You know what? I'm going to go into auto camera and see uh, what I might be missing. Rome has clearly been uh, stagnant in terms of population. The, the, Rome, the Roman capital has been sitting at 19 for a very, very long time. Reading at 26 population. What's Fort William? 27. Wow. Paris, yeah. Paris has kind of slowed down a little bit. Is that? Are those the biggest cities in the game? Ah, I don't know why I'm so fascinated by that. Please, someone make a mod just to tell me that. <laughs> I love it. I really love it. Because that's what I personally, you know, I love making one really big city in terms of population. I, I find some, you know, some some good things about that. So Samaria's got 26, 26, 24, 24. Lots of pop And you had another 24 city. That's crazy that you were this big. And it makes sense. I mean, look at all the farmlands. So it makes, you know, quite a bit of sense, I guess. Germany, on the other hand, if we're looking at just population, not doing as well. They don't have a lot of, you know, huge cities. Rome always has trouble. Oh, you finally settled the boot. Kind of the, the tip of the boot, I guess. Oh, that's a, that's a smart choice. Rome's coming over there with somebody else. Yep, they're going to do it. Unless, uh, unless uh, I don't know what Felipe's going to do. Yeah, we don't exactly know how Felipe's going to handle this. Oh, what did you build? Morocco? The Moroccan city say, oh, you built like a little lumber mill, didn't you? Yep. That's nice. Why, wait, why did you show me that? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Why did you show me that? I have I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know. Arabia might have a big city somewhere in uh, kind of Ottoman territory. No, you know what? I am. Uh, I don't want to say it just yet, but I do think that. I, I think that Fort Williams might be the biggest city in the game. I don't know if England is doing a lot of internal trade routes, but I want to say they are. Because that's the only city that I see at 27 population. There's 25. We've seen it 26. But uh, nothing at 27. Why? Wait, where are you getting all this food from? I mean, yeah, there's a lot of farms, but that's not like that amazing. Do you have a wonder? The Hanging Gardens or something? 
I don't see anything. No, Hanging Gardens would have kind of explained it, but... Isn't that more cities for cities on a river? Well, you are on a river. I guess that makes sense. I guess that makes sense. Oh, you know, I haven't done this at all. I figured I, I'd blow some people's minds <laughs> still, because I still don't think anyone knows about this feature. I try to show that off, but... Anyways, it just... And it's weird to do on, on like, a on an Earth map, because... Everything looks backwards if we if we viewed like this the entire oh gosh like this totally disorients me uh, England's gonna send some more settlers probably towards Africa surprised they haven't lost that stuff Oh, you know what Rome might be the one that actually takes out Lisboa that kind of makes me sad because Felipe had the entire t you know this entire campaign to take out the city-state he never did it he never chose to do it and uh if Tracia comes over here and settles southern Iberia and then sends over its troops and destroys the city state, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be pretty sad, I'm be pretty upset. But uh, yeah, okay. So it has been a while. Let, let's let's talk about my own top um, my own top three because geez, Norway, how many troops are you gonna send in in the Italian peninsula? There's already not that much room over here, dude. Scythia has declared war on Russia. Oh boy. Oh look at this city. It lost all of its walls. All I'm here has lost all of the wall the wall has been, been has been destroyed I guess there might be somebody else out there that they could elect to, to, to get a wall up that's what they might they honestly might need that okay so this is uh, this is gonna be actually pretty big because there's nothing here there is no Russian unit next to this city we might see that city fall ah oh, this is all open terrain too these helicopters I don't know how much these choppers are going to do in terms of damage. I mean, Russia has the military. If they send them over, they'll defend the city. I just don't know if they're going to be able to defend them over, defend them quick enough. Germany managed to send over some, some mechanized infantry, some rocket artillery, modern, modern armor, army, modern armor, army, modern armor, basically modern armor. That's what we'll say. Very surprised that Poland didn't do anything. I don't know why Poland's not building a military. I, we're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do like just a separate test campaign to see if like Poland is uh, is broken or what. But they have they do that every single time, and it might also be because they're just next to you know they managed they they were next to Russia and Scythia before as well, and uh, you know those are aggressive civs that like to pillage, so it makes sense. It does make a little bit of sense. I think. Madrid also looks still pretty beautiful. I was talking about that a few videos, videos ago. Madrid looks great with all these wonders. They managed to really kind of wonder whore a lot, too. I'm surprised. Felipe doesn't get any wonder bonuses, does he? I don't think he does. Lots of religious bonuses, but not wonders, I don't think. Um, boom. Okay, so we're starting to see this district be built. Space, these space, spaceports kind of all over the place. Kind of odd that they're wasting the production on that stuff. When it's domination only, but, you know, it's fine. It's still, it's still okay. Ah, uh, yes. Got to check on this uh, Icelandic, Icelandic city-state. Nothing. Wow, you barely have improved any of these tiles. Maybe I should have lived there. Maybe I should have chosen to live there. Is there still a war going on? Yeah, there is still a war going on, uh, incredibly enough. And, you know, these Roman troops still haven't been completely destroyed. Germany's done, you know, an, an okay job of defending their borders against Russia for the most part. They both launched, like, little mini-invasions on each other. Spain's not pressing forward from the North Sea. I don't I don't know why there. I have no idea why. How Samaria, are you okay? Are you okay, little buddy Samaria? Because I don't think you're you're doing that well. I think if anything, Norway's gonna be the one that just continues to settle. Okay, Germany, what are you doing? You've been sitting there for a while too. Uh how how has this invasion been going? Okay. It's a, there could be something that comes out of this, or, have you been pressing forward? Kind of, but you don't have much time. Your best bet, you grab that city real quick, and then you just peace out. Yeah, because Russia, if they start navigating their military over here, you're going to get, you're going to get destroyed, Scythia. And Scythia doesn't really have that big of an army either, so it's, uh, it is kind of tough to say. Look at these city-state borders. Why did, how did Armenia get so huge? I have no idea. But anyways, guys, I'm going to stop right there. Uh, we will be going to turn 400 in the next one. And uh, and we will see the colonization. I think this is going to be continue, continue to be a lot of uh, colonization. Really interested to see what Norway does, actually.
There are a lot of conflicts taking place throughout this world. I don't know if anything is going to result from it just yet. Uh, it seems to be pretty balanced for the most part. France versus Rome, Scythia versus Russia, um, Greece versus Arabia, but who knows what will pop up next. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.